Uh, Ellie's been singing in the break, which would make point out that I would recommend to your fiance that you get a prenup because it might be grounds for a DI. He's got a worse voice than I do, so just oh, put that out there. I'm actually the better singer of the two. Oh, well, there you go. Mm. Um, well, we're talking prenups because obviously um, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez didn't have a prenup and they're now splitting up. So people are asking should prenups be mandatory? Yes. Well, we're joined now by breakup and divorce coach Sarah Davison, who believes they should be, and celebrity divorce lawyer Vanessa Lloyd Platt, who believes that they shouldn't. Very good morning to you both, ladies. Good to see you. Sarah, why are you so pro prenup? It's not very romantic, is it? No, Ellie. Hi, Ellie and Sue. Um, it's not romantic, but then marriage isn't just about love and romance, although a lot of it is, but there is a business end to any partnership. And I see prenups as a, as a bit like um, house insurance, car insurance, it's, it's marriage insurance. We're not planning for when it goes wrong. We're just planning for if it goes wrong to give you a safety net. So, you know, ultimately, I think it should be part of the essential wedding kit. So obviously planning in advance for the dress, the flowers, the photographer and a prenup. Speak, <laughs> Sarah. I almost can't speak. Vanessa, what do you make of it all? <laughs> think they should be made mandatory at all um certainly we deal with prenups every day of the week they're not the best things and certainly not before a wedding um we don't believe in having ridiculous clauses in prenups like they do it over the pond and we can talk about that in relation to ben affleck and, and jennifer lopez but i think they can be quite destructive before a wedding you have to get your timing right otherwise it can ruin the relationship and i don't think it's appropriate in every case at all i think it's it's relevant when you're getting married for the second or third time and you want to protect the assets of the family, um, whether it's dynastic families or farming families that have had businesses for generations and they want to protect them, that's fine. But not for everybody. It is not appropriate. And most people don't have massive assets that need to be protected in the first instance. And most prenups talk about people coming in with assets and protecting them, and when they come out, those to be preserved, and the difference between assets that are being built up during the marriage that should be divided. But I do think it's a dangerous notion to start bringing in mandatory prenups, and I don't believe in it, no. Sarah, what do you make of that then, that really prenups should only be applied to celebrity marriages or people who actually have, you know, vast amounts of assets, things that they could really lose, their livelihoods, if it came to the end of a marriage? So with someone like J-Lo and, and Ben Affleck, they've made, a, I think we're hearing, a number of films, there's been a number of projects in the last two years. I mean, we're talking about a lot of money here. Yeah, we're talking about a lot of money in that case. And, and you know, this isn't just about the legal side for me. Obviously, I'm not a lawyer. Um, I spend my days picking people up who are impacted by the emotional roller coaster of a divorce. Now, divorce is known as the second most traumatic life experience we go through. And so there's so much overwhelm. And one of the biggest fears is fear of the future and what that financial outlook will look like now they're separating those two lifestyles, the homes, access to the children, all those things can be really terrifying and scary for people. And talking about the, the prenup can be very unromantic at the beginning, absolutely. But surely if we made it mandatory, I guess from my perspective, I'm thinking it removes the stigma. It's not the, you know, at the moment I've seen it with clients, people say, you know, maybe they don't love me or they're not committed or not as committed as I am if they want me to sign this. Or maybe they think I'm there for the money. Well, one, it would remove people marrying for money and property. But also, two, if it was mandatory, then again, everyone would have to go through that process. So there wouldn't be a worry or a fear that this was destabilizing the relationship because it wouldn't. It would be a normal part. And as I said, there is a business end to any relationship where you are bringing two people's lives together. So however complicated it is, I think it's important to have that so that you have that safety net. And prenups don't have to be nasty or aggressive, you know, especially at the beginning when you're in love and everything is going great. Why not get that set up in advance so that if things go wrong, not when, but if things go wrong, then everybody knows where they're going to stand. And actually, it can be quite nice to know, well, actually, if it fizzles out, you care enough that I'm going to be looked after or this will be the share. So then we avoid those expensive and very aggressive court battles that we see at the end of a divorce process because things are mapped out.
OK, look, we've got to leave it there. Uh, Sarah, Vanessa, thank you both very much indeed. Thank you. Um, I would I would say now... I was about I was... to say, how are you feeling about that? I'm kind of seeing the steam come off your head. What, why? Did you just ban marriage? Mm. Ban marriage, then. I think if you're entering a relationship and you think, oh, we should, we, we just need to put some planning in place in, you know, for, for when or if this marriage fails, if that's how you're thinking, don't get married. <laughs> I was I was asked about prenups. I, I would not get married with a prenup. Really? Absolutely not. Never. Oh. No. Refuse. Okay. I totally get not. Angry. Oh, I uh, yeah. Oh, I was very passionate about this. If you if you're that unsure that you're thinking about what happens when the marriage goes wrong before you get married, don't get married. Huh? Well, let us know what you think. Do you agree with Stephen, or do you think, as Sarah was saying, it's just like a house insurance or a car insurance? It's oh. good to have in case it goes wrong. Let us know what you think. GBNews.com/slash/your say. Oh, more yeah. coins going to have what you sport in just a moment.